So what I was gonna say at the beginning of the last video uh, is that I think my goal with this channel is to get to the point where I can like create merchandise and one of the merchandise items that I will create will be a pair of satin trousers. Satin trousers. Y'all waited a whole two days for that punchline. What's up you guys, welcome to my happy place. So I've been thinking for a while that it's been a while since I've told you guys a story and then I was thinking like, what story can I tell you? And I, I thought about this story and I was like, there's no way I must have told that one already. Um, and I looked through and I haven't. Um, and it's one of my best stories. So I'm gonna share the story with you today. When I was 18, I had just come back from a year abroad in Israel. And if you want stories about that time, every other story time pretty much takes place in Israel. A lot happened there. But when I came back, some of the people that I had been in Israel with decided they were gonna go and move to Israel permanently uh, from America. And one of those people was my good friend, Srilly. When I found out he was leaving, I decided I was going to go and see him. And he lived in Brooklyn. I lived in like sort of not really upstate New York, but like more upstate than the city. So you have to like, it's like, it was like an hour commute in and then I had to take the subway from Manhattan if you know New York City, whatever, this is extra stuff. There's no reason for me to be talking about it. I, I drag my ass in and I go all the way to Brooklyn and I go to see him and celebrate. And the way that we decide we're gonna celebrate, like most college age kids, is we decide we're gonna get drunk. So we buy a bottle of Jack Daniels, um, which I was not old enough to buy, um, but fake ID cards are a magical thing and I've looked like I was 45 since I was three. So we finish a bottle of Jack Daniels between me, Surly, and one other friend. Mostly me and the other friend. The other friend, however, lived in Brooklyn. Surly, like a good host, asks me after I have drank at least a third of a bottle of Jack Daniels, Zach, would you like to spend the night here? And I say no. Because uh, to be clear, in Israel, I drink a lot. And I was like, I'm good. I'm fine. I do this all the time. I can travel. I sit down on the subway and as soon as the subway doors close, I black out. I come to a little while later um, and I see the subway is empty and I'm like, that's weird. And I get off the subway uh, and I look at my phone and I see like seven missed calls from my mom and my dad, which is weird because growing up Jewish, that's like expected, but also very worrying because you're expecting that if you don't pick up, they will call you a million times. Um, but you're probably gonna get yelled at for not having picked up. So I, I see my mother's number and I'm like, fuck, okay, I guess I, I can, I can, I'm still pretty drunk, but I can handle this. I can have this conversation. I, I hit the number to call my mom. I put the phone to my ear. And the first thing that I hear is, hi, Ramapo Police Department. And I say, hello. And they say, Zachary. And I say, well, yes, that's me. And uh, at that point, I look at the time and it is, I believe, 3 a.m. I had been on the subway asleep for six hours. I passed out. No one woke me up because it's the New York subway and you're not going to wake somebody up on the New York subway. That's just not what you do. So I was out for six hours and I look at the time and I realize, oh my God, my parents called the police because they thought I was dead. Um, granted, it was only six hours, but like, I kind of get it. It was, it was a realistic thing. Um, and I check my pockets and my wallet was gone. Um, and what I realized is that I had been robbed while asleep on the subway. I could have been killed um, because the train that I was on went through some very, very not nice neighborhoods in New York. Um, and I went up and down multiple times. And this is where it kind of becomes funny from the police perspective because the police were tracking my phone. And when you track a phone, it doesn't track it um, like everywhere it goes. It tracks it like in blips apparently. And so because I was asleep on the subway, the blip kept showing up at random parts of New York City. So from what my parents saw, um, I was either partying and having the time of my life, which by the way was what the police told them I was probably doing, that I was partying up and down New York City, or alternatively my phone had been stolen and I was dead. Those are the two uh, options. What makes it less funny is that my father who works in the city had been driving to each of the blip points to see if I was there and if he could find me. Um, and he drove up and down the city for about three hours. Um, trying to find me. 
Uh, and I was asleep. I was peacefully asleep on the subway, uh, lacking a wallet. But other than that, I was fine. I call my dad. He picks me up. Um, I apologize to him. I come home to my mother and aunt, who very clearly had been sobbing for an extended period of time. My mother very calmly walks up to me and says, Zach, as a teenager, you're allowed to do some stupid things. You've used up all of them. And then we never spoke about it again. Her point was just that I'd, I, I used up all the dumb things I'm allowed to do in my teenage years in one fell swoop, and she wasn't mad at me. I proceeded to do other dumb things in my teenage years, even though I was I was 18 at that point, so really I didn't have a lot of time, but I, I did some more dumb shit. Um, but she was mad at me for those things, so then I guess that worked out okay. All in all, I think the situation pretty much worked out in my favor. So that's that story. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. I'm also going to ask you guys if you could stay for like the last 30 seconds of this video. I did something cool and it, we're, we're really, we're gonna improve the channel now. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be something cool and I hope you guys like it. Um, from my happy place, my name is Zach. Now go away. No matter where you roam, you will always have a home. You will never be alone because where you go, I will go. No matter where you hide. It's good shit, right? Our fucking real channel now got Got videos and outros, and I need an intro still, but I can, I'll figure something out for that. Get what you pay for on satanstrousers.com. Don't have that site. Probably should get that site. Bye.